You look so f***ing weird right now. So at the moment we're doing a bunch of renovations with our house, but specifically at the moment, they're actually working on the laundry. Doesn't that annoy you? No. I'm not complaining at all if that's what you're thinking. I just think it would be more practical to just go up in the city, spend the week there and maybe take some photos in the city and just switch it up. I'm keen to do that, so let's go. You ready for this? Oh, that was easy. Let's go. So you're gonna let me drive the new car, mom? No. Why? Mine. Is that just because I got a speeding ticket the other day? Um, you know those situations where you're just really happy, you're not really focusing on anything. So what happened was, is I left my friend's house just driving. I wasn't even thinking about the speed. It's a 50 zone. I was going probably like 80 kilometers per hour. I overshot a turn. The cops happened to be just behind me pretty much as I was coming out on the turns. I see their lights flashing. I'm just like, ah! so they pulled me over and now I don't know if I'm going to lose my license. And I don't know why I'm so positive about this. Ah. I blew it. Anyway, let's go. Del, you all right? She excited. What's she doing? <laughs> I have my hands on your body. So tell me, tell me what you want me to do. I can be good or be not in. Today I want to do some city photography. First, I want to meet up with someone. Bro, look at this. so overwhelming I'm not used to having all these people around me being in the country like obviously there's not nearly as many people around and there's not as much movement going on but that's what's so good about being in the city is like because there's so much movement and because there's so many different people it's like there's so many opportunities for time lapses taking photos with a lot just filled up in the frame if you know what I mean What do you like so much about this spot here? Well, if you look down, like you can see that it's just chaotic. Like there's people crossing the road. You got constant trams just going all along. Just having a lot of movement in it. At the same time, you have to worry <laughs> about your surroundings. Like we do not want to get smashed by a tram today. I'm not used to doing this kind of thing. I'm used to just being in the zone, taking photos and everything. So I'm going to have to learn to just be a bit Exactly, like I didn't even notice that, that. Imagine being smashed by one of those things. Smash that like button. <laughs> Look how big that lens is. Bro, this makes me, I feel like I'm compensating for something. <laughs> Let's shoot. <laughs> no, you're gonna get run over by that tram, get off. Oh. Oh, 
was really excited because it was actually raining this morning. I wanted there to be some reflections on the road and on the tram tracks. Because it's obviously not raining and there's no reflections, what we have to do is we have to make our reflection. So to make the reflection, what do you do? You get water. Let's go. <laughs> Photographer's dream, just water and Nurofen in case you just like get sick of hanging around with seventh era. No, oh, look at this, this legit looks like he's just on a weird as phone. What what is I'm just listening to what I'm saying in my blog. <laughs> Alright, finally it's cloudy, so I don't know how long this is gonna last. While this is like this, I need to take the photo ASAP, but I'm waiting for the tram. It's like it, I don't know how far away it is. Hopefully stays cloudy. I'll chuck this on the ground, create the reflection, get the shot, hopefully we're good. Oh, no, I can't do it now. No, Wait late. for the next one. You look so f***ing weird right now. Far out. This nice. is hard. Get any reflection? This is actually really... Are you even getting a reflection? No. Nah. Shoot it from back here, bro. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go, mate. The tram's coming. There's a tram literally right there. Get up. I'll try it once more. I think it's because having it zoomed into 200mm, it gets rid of a lot of the reflection on the bottom of the frame. I think I'll zoom it out just a little bit more and see how we go. No, you have to get up. <laughs> Got it! <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> oh yeah, baby! Man, that was sick. I reckon, I reckon city photography is my new favorite kind of photography. Being able to share that experience with other people, like your friends, there's, you can't even replace it. Like, I'm so grateful. I wanted to get a cool photo of the tram, but I wanted to have a reflection. So obviously I used the water to create the reflection, which was really cool and everything, but I was expecting it to be a lot better in terms of the reflection. It took a while to get this right, but eventually I did get it right and it did end up looking pretty cool. I am actually pretty proud of it. Like, it's got some subtle bokeh in the background. I zoomed this out to 70, not into 200, so the bokeh isn't too noticeable. I wanted to have the actual puddle out out of focus and the reflection in focus because whatever's in focus like the tram and everything like that whatever's reflected in the reflection will be in focus but the actual puddle will be out of focus so it creates this cool out of focus in focus reflection kind of look i didn't really achieve that because i didn't actually have enough water on the ground for that to have worked with that lens i would have to have a fair bit of water on the ground because it would have to be longer therefore creating a bigger reflection and that's the only way that it would work. But I'm still pretty happy with the photo. I think the next time I try to do something like this, I'll probably shoot with a 16 to 35 mil because if I did a wide angle shot of it, I could go right up to the reflection and then everything would look reflected. Either way, I'm happy with how today went. It was a super fun day. And if you haven't followed 7th Era on YouTube and Instagram and whatever, I'll put his thing here and here. And yeah. Question of the day. What is one of your most favorite life experiences with a meaning you would like other people to learn from? P.S. Love your photos and vlogs. You're such an inspiration every day for me and hopefully many more other fans. Thank you so much. Um, favorite life experience. That's, that's a tough one. I think that traveling, just traveling in general, like those are always my most favorite life experiences. Traveling and capturing content, like going out of your comfort zone or just like not doing something that's normal for you and just shaking stuff up. That's what I feel like, that's what life is. Anyways, that's the end of the video. If you like this video, maybe consider liking and subscribing. It is up to you. You don't have to do it, but you know what to do. It was awesome hanging out with you again and I'll, Catch you next time.